The Nintendo 3DS unfortunately had its servers turned off recently, so I thought it'd be great to do a video about some of the best, most obscure, and coolest 3DS games. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys five different unique 3DS games that aren't really talked about all that much. If you guys do enjoy this content, also please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even comment down below. It really, really helps and goes a long way. So the first one on this list, we got a JRPG. This one kind of has like a chibi style to it. So this one is called Lord of Magna. So basically you manage the famil or famile, I can't remember how it's pronounced, and which is a hotel, if you don't know what that means. And it's on the outskirts of Lunaville Village, where the inn has actually slowed down in business recently. So they're kind of struggling. So you go out to different caves that are filled with different types of crystals where you also find monsters and different enemies that you have to defeat. And the game kind of gets harder, of course, as you progress through it and everything. It's a really engaging game and visually looks really good. Many people also say it's an underrated game that's 100% worth playing. It's kind of cool. This game was uh, released and announced in 2014. So this is like the 10 year mark of this game. It's pretty much an adventure game with different monsters, with a unique and compelling story where you kind of progress to earn more money and currency and all that. Next up, we got Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So this game is cool and I, th I think the Professor Layton games are all really neat because Capcom's always involved, which is cool and I think Capcom, they make some pretty good games. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys agree with that too, but basically... I believe the Professor Layton series as a whole is pretty underrated, and this is kind of like a collaboration of like two series almost. These are games that could be playful and fun, but also pretty serious. And you basically solve different puzzles and you find different clues to move forward through the game and progress. There are different areas to search through as well, and all the characters in this game are pretty true to themselves in like the sense of how they've been written in the past, which is always good and refreshing to hear. If you like a mystery game or like a like a like a find this, like oh, where is this type of game? Like I don't know if you remember those those books from when you were a kid where it's like find the mystery item in this page full of a thousand random things kind of like a where's waldo type of feel if, if that makes sense which is uh pretty cool and I, I i really think it's a cool game to play on the 3ds there are a lot of different trials to go through but a lot of people say that the story goes way further than it really needed to go for a game like this which is actually a good thing because they really put in the effort for this game to write it which is always a good and refreshing thing to hear there's also voice acting in this game but some people don't like it which is uh you know whatever Number three, we got Fantasy Life. So I feel like a lot of you guys probably have heard of this one. This one is probably one of the more popular ones on this list. This game is heavily compared to the Animal Crossing franchise and Rune Factory 4 because of like the different activities that you do and everything. But this is an action RPG, which is also another visually impressive game to look at in my opinion. I really think that the animation style of this game is, is really, really unique. There's combat in this game. You could earn XP and in-game currency. You could craft things like armor, clothing, furniture, or other random goods and everything. You do that all at a workbench, kind of like how you do in Animal Crossing. So if you if you like games like that, like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, you're probably going to like this game. And I, I think it's has a unique story, like a unique way of telling a story like that, where it's like you you uh, find a bunch of things and you craft you craft stuff to like build up like a town and everything like that. A lot of people also say this game can sometimes be difficult, which is actually a good thing, so it's not like too difficult, but it's not too easy, or if that makes any sense. I think this game is probably the best one on this list. I feel like this is one of the more must-plays. I mean, I think these are all must-plays, but more so this one. I, I feel like this one's probably my favorite. Next up, we got Steam World Dig. So this game takes place in an old western steampunk style type of city. The gameplay is kind of like a constant loop in the sense of like how like Terraria is. Think of like Terraria. I feel like that's kind of a good game to compare this one to. You dig uh, in different caves and stuff and obviously find different minerals, materials, rock, whatever it may actually be. And of course you go back up to the surface, you could sell off these things that you found in the caves for money and upgrades and level up your mining equipment and everything. So the mining aspect of this game definitely gives you more of a, of a desire to go search. And there also are enemies and you can die in these caves. So you gotta be careful because if you die or if you are not strategic, 
with the way you get down if like you can't get back up then you are going to be forced to self-destruct which will make you lose half of your currency you have to be really strategic and make sure you're not going to die this is a really fun game to play and i like i said i feel like it's good to compare this against like terraria and minecraft in a way the last game on this list is another steampunk style game so this one is called codename steam i feel like the animation style is pretty cool in this one too it's kind of a nice aesthetic so this was made by intelligent systems which is best known for fire emblem and the advance war series and this game uh, takes place in a history where steam powered technology is pretty much like you know what everything revolves around that's the primary source of energy this game takes place in the late 1800s which the steam the word steam is an agency and it's led by abraham lincoln which is crazy we're getting some uh presidents up in this game which is insane where you fight off aliens pretty much just aliens like things from different planets i think this is a crazy concept and it's a cool game because it's like this game is so weird by the sound of it, but that kind of makes it like a really cool and unique game. There are uh, some third person, it does have some third person shooting, which is pretty cool to see on the 3DS. It's not common to see these third person shooting style games on a 3DS or like DS. And there's different chapters and different maps. There's different characters, which all have a different main weapon and different like attacks and everything. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have played a game like that where the character you play has a different like weapon that they use overall. So you, you probably understand what I'm saying. But overall, this game seems really interesting. And if you like shooting games with strategy behind it, I definitely think you would like this game as well as the steampunk style. I know a lot of people like the steampunk style games and i feel like there aren't too many steampunk games being produced in the modern day which i could be wrong i may just not know about them they may just be super obscure but uh, i believe the previous game steam world dig i believe that does have a sequel that's on the switch once again i might be wrong on that definitely correct me if i'm wrong but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also leave your favorite 3ds game down in the comments below there are so many 3ds games out there so i'd i love to hear what you guys love or maybe what you're playing right now and it's so unfortunate that the 3ds online system stuff has been shut down because it means we can't use the 3ds online anymore which is so sad to hear but i guess it had to happen sooner than later because we're also getting the next console from nintendo relatively soon um, which uh, I guess we'll see. Also, this game has Tom Sawyer in it. Like, there's different, like, people in this game that you will recognize their name from. And I just think that's bizarre. I, ju I just think that this game has such a, a crazy, weird idea. Like, it's it's just such a weird game to come out. Like, who made this and developed it? And, like, you know what I mean? Like, who... It's just, it's like a fan project, almost. It's, it's super cool. I definitely think you should check it out. But, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.